Once the third part is done, let's look at the fourth part. You are told to by considering part two and three to show that this, by matter of difference, this exists, right? So let's look at this part here. Now, first thing you need to take note is actually uh, these two are two neighboring terms. So this is k and k plus one. And there are difference between two terms here. So k plus one minus uh, k, tangent inverse k plus one minus tangent k. So you could actually perform a matter of difference uh, using this expression here, okay? So just uh, let's... Just use this first and we'll see how uh, things goes about. So from this from this expression here, we know that actually uh, what you could do is you just uh, uh, attach n because the one from uh, let me let me just show you this this is one to n this is one to n right so I'm just going to attach the uh, the sigma notation throughout here. This will be attaching. Um, uh, k equals to 1, k plus 1 square plus 1 will be less than if we just add this up. k plus 1 minus tangent inverse k. Okay, And uh, I'm just going to bracket this in the sigma notation and after which I'll just put this as uh, k equals to 1, k square plus 1. Alright, so this is done. Now once this is done, what we're going to do is actually this middle one, what we could do is a, um, a <clears throat> method of difference. So if you were to write this down, I think I'll just separate it out because it's easier to, to solve uh, separately instead of uh, putting in the, the uh, inequality here. So this would be tangent inverse uh, 2 minus tangent inverse 1 plus tangent inverse 3 minus tangent inverse 2 and tangent inverse plus tangent inverse 4 minus tangent inverse 3 okay so this will just go all the way to plus tangent inverse n plus 1 minus tangent inverse n plus tangent inverse n minus tangent inverse n minus 1 okay so once this is done we're going to cancel this part here cancel it out cancel 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 and once this will just give us uh tangent inverse n plus one uh minus tangent inverse one tangent inverse one will be power four right uh yeah but anyway we just leave it as as it is first uh because we need to use the second <laughs> equation here so once this is done we we're gonna take this and uh combining one and two 1 and 2, we get the middle would be k plus 1 square plus 1 tangent inverse n plus 1 minus tangent inverse 1 less than n. Okay, always know what you need to find. Because we have already got the two sides here, so we are quite happy with it. But what we need now is actually this side here, which is, looks something like that. So this is x, this is y, uh, and then it's x, y, minus. So meaning to say, this would be x. This is my x, and this is my y, right? So if you look at the uh, the expression there, it's as such. Okay, it's the wrong one, sorry. Capture one, it's, yeah. So we're going to use um, from from 2 or 3 from 3 okay from 3 this will just be n k plus 1 square plus 1 so you just replace this as n plus 1 x is n plus 1 um, and y and this part here will be tangent inverse x minus y so m plus 1 minus y over 1 plus m plus 1 times 1 all right so this is pretty okay i think once this is done it's uh it's pretty straightforward right so we're just going to rearrange this and this will be n k equals to 1 and this is k plus 1 square plus 1 between tangent inverse n over n square plus 2 uh, eh? Oh, sorry. And okay, that's a good thing about proving. Uh, yeah. So just check. There you go. This is proven. 
Okay, so this is how we do this question here proficiently. Any question or comments, please do let us know. Uh, keep practicing and I'll see you in the next question.